Chapter 2, boys. Boys Life of <laughs>Okay, here's how this title screen works. Um, every time you go to a different menu, um, the character on the right oh. side of the screen changes. As you can see, I got from Monokuma to Leon. For the past 10 minutes, I've been trying to get Junko to show up on the right side and she has not shown up once. Not once! I've been trying for the past 10 minutes and she just won't fucking show herself! I want to see Junko show up on this fucking screen at least once. At least once! I've gotten everyone except Junko, I can't! Ugh. Furukawa? That is not Junko! Come on, come on. Fucking. Okay. Is this Junko? That is Celeste, not Junko! Uh, that is what's his face. Uh, I don't remember everyone's names yet. God, fucking, that is not Junko. That is most certainly not a Junko. That, mm. I like Asahina, but that is not Junko. Come on. Oh my god, finally! How fucking long did it take to get her on my fucking screen? Jesus, fuck! Glorious waste of time. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Can we zoom in on this boy's face? He says that so fucking closely! So carefree! So casually! Motherfucker! Hey, come on! <laughs> Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? That's what I said! If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. See, well, Sina's got the right attitude. <laughs> Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Huh? What can shoot you down? Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So but be well aware <laughs> of your actions. God damn it! You just had to throw a bear pun in there, fucking Teddy wannabe. No, no, Monokuma's on a different level. He's not Teddy. He is not Teddy. He is on a completely different level. Okay, lift your arms up and down. What am I looking at? One, two, three, four. What? Now reach way up and bend way down. What am I watching? Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Chat room, what am I looking at? <laughs> it's the T-pose for dominance. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're T-posing, I just realized. <laughs> yes, we need a Monokuma T-posing. Someone draw me a picture of Monokuma T-posing now, please. <laughs> you gotta make sure to stay healthy and then keep up your T-pose exercises. Remember kids, T-pose to assert your dominance upon all the petty peasants of the world of hope until you fill them with despair. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff, that's my motto. What have you ever said that? Yaha! Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? Would it be weird for me to say yes? Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope Speak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? That's my question. Is he going to bring us to fucking Disneyland? Or no? Is he going to bring us to Despairland? <laughs> Monokuma's Despairland confirmed. <laughs> Just a second. Oh, Makoto. Hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A bull! There's a bull here! A bull! <laughs> okay, calm down, Athena. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. 
Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. And you can stop staring at me right now with that fucking face of yours! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker room. Really? Of course! <laughs> really, really! Oh. <laughs> If you want to unlocker the locker room... Did you just say unlocker the locker... Mm. You have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh-huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room. And the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity! See? There's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? Yahoo! And it'll be all... Just a second! I bet it really hurts to get shot by that thing. Oh, You think? So, um... But you know... You seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because all you teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs! You're at the age you try humping a plastic bottle! So to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch! <laughs> then in that case, I would ask you keep the same clothes I on our dorms. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Yes, yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorm. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. I mean, hey, if he says it. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut again. <laughs> just the worst. <laughs> like...